without using a calculator, simplify the following to a single trig ratio. Okay, so this is gonna be a whole bunch of reduction. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of these individually. So I'm gonna show you how to do sin minus theta. I'm gonna show you how to do cos 90 plus theta. And I'm gonna show you how to do cos theta minus 360. And then I'll show you how to do it in the actual sum over here. So a lot of learners, they're like, oh, I'll just take out a negative as a common factor. Not correct. Yes, the answer might look like that's what happened, but it's a coincidence and it will catch you out eventually. What you rather wanna remember is the quadrant diagram. And that is 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, and 360 minus theta. If this angle here, or if this thing does not look like any one of those, you need to make a change. So what we are always allowed to do is we can always add or subtract 360. In this one, it's gonna be better to add 360. Now when you plus, this order doesn't matter, so we can switch it around. And now we have one of these. Remember that this is the sin quadrant, this is the tan quadrant, and this is the cos. So sin is gonna be negative in that quadrant, so the answer becomes negative sin theta. Now some learners are like, yeah, so I told you, Kev, if you took the negative out, that's all you have to do. It's not true, my friend, because if you have cos minus theta, that answer doesn't become minus cos theta. You gotta be careful, okay? So we've taken care of this part. Um, I will show you how to write it out in the test. Now here we have um, a co-function. Remember the co-functions? We've got four of them. We've got this, got this, first got this. They always become the opposite. So sin becomes cos, cos becomes sin. Most of them just become theta, 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 but this one becomes a negative sin theta. Okay, and that's of course the one that they've given us, so we'll just make that negative sin theta. Now the next one at the bottom there is that cos theta minus 360. You can't just switch these around because that is a negative. So once again, if it doesn't look like one of these, add or take away 360. This one's gonna work nicely by adding 360 because then those actually just cancel and you end up with cos theta. Okay, so how would you do this in an exam? So you would just go one minus sin, you would add 360. Here you would just change it to, sorry, this one was a negative sin theta, okay? And then um, this you would just add 360. Right, now what I want you to do, um, let's just go to the next step. So this will become sin of 360 minus theta. This is gonna be multiplied by negative sin theta and then this just becomes cos theta. Okay, now in the next step, we're just gonna change this to negative sin theta. So there already was a negative there, times negative sin theta over cos theta. And so this ends up becoming, you can just put this as a plus, got that, and then we've got that. Now this is one term, okay? So that means that we could actually just put that negative in the front with this plus, and so a plus and a minus just becomes a minus. And then sin times sin is sin squared. Okay, now we know that in grade 11 we learn about this formula, sin squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. But look at this. If you take this over to the other side, you're gonna end up with cos squared theta equals to one minus sin squared theta. And so this is this part, and you see that it's the same as cos squared theta. So at the top, we can just change it to cos squared theta, and at the bottom, we have cos theta. Then, cos squared theta is the same as cos theta times cos theta, if you wanna think of it like that. So you could cancel out one of them, and then you'd be left with cos theta 